Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is French Shot Pierce, and welcome again to my channel. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday, December 5th of 2024. Have a video I want you to check out. I made it uh, not too long ago, but uh, I want you to check this out about how Americans are and will have to cut back on their hours to make room for migrants. Do you think it's right? Do you think it's right? Check this out. Blood money. Here's the book. Check this out. The iceberg. Blood money. Why the powerful turn a blind eye while China kills America dives deep into our politicians' filthy relationships with the Chai Coms. Peter. Peter Switzler. Man, that's my own heart. Him and his staff have done collegiate work for a long time. Blood money. Why the powerful turn a blind eye while China kills Americans. Book came out a few days ago. I haven't purchased it. I've listened to... Actually, it's been out for a few months, but check it out. Check it out. The book's been out for a few months. Check it out. Man, maybe 10 different interviews this guy has had so far. And he's got portions of the book online. So I wanted to present this to you because I want you to understand that part of the immigration are Chinese. Part of the immigration is Chinese. China has funded some social ills directly or indirectly through business people who are nefarious. This book not only brings up issues that I cannot talk about here on YouTube, but he names the names. It is well within your reason to understand what is really going on. Blood money. You got politicians, allegedly like Joe Biden, uh, Mitch McConnell, who is retiring soon, who has businesses and ties to China, as well as uh, Governor Newsom, who has uh, allegedly uh, some business or social connections or both to China. And Biden's family getting checks. You know the story. Uh, from China. Baby, we didn't, we didn't got sold out. We compromised. And this guy even uh, brings up how Obama is in that mix. Even how Obama is in that mix. Um, this is the book. Um, let me see if I can hint at something right quick. Read this. You see this title here? You see the big O? Back in the day, Britain exploited China with this. You got to know your history. Britain did. In today's terms, they made, I would guess they made billions of dollars killing their people, getting them high. Their grandchildren have been taught their history. What do you think they're doing to America now? San Francisco, New York, Chicago, where you got a certain drug with the first name fit, you fill in the rest because I can't talk about it. But look, it's payback. Put in the comment section, some of y'all remember that song, that uh, album and the record from by James Brown back in the day. Huh, big payback. What we did to them back in the day, Britain and the gang, through this thing here, the big O, they're doing it to us today. I've been teaching you guys that strange bedfellows was going to happen in these last days. And it's happening. 
America was not built for you. And now America is making a plan where now she's coming down to blend third world so she can then partake and merge into a new world order. It's all crafted. Not only is America being exploited and will implode, but the old, but the world will simultaneously do it. It probably too late to save anything. And thank God for Jesus. If I didn't have any hope, if I didn't have hope in Jesus Christ, I'd be like the unsaved just sitting around watching this demise. But I have hope, and I pray you have hope. But yeah, check out Peter Schwitzer. All right? Listen. Schweitzer is the author of that book. He joins us now. Peter, before we get to Newsom, tell me about this wolf that was related to these cash payments to the Biden family. Yeah, White Wolf is this very powerful figure. Uh, he is pro CC. Can't get into that, so let's go into this next one. He's going to be interviewed right here. In fact, this is his channel. Blood Money, China's Role in the you see the title. I'll point to him in a second. Disintegration warfare. And where did the idea that China is waging disintegration warfare against the United States? Disintegration warfare, breaking down America, having it implode. And just so you know, because the border is wide open, China's coming through. We're doing a one question poll that can help Donald Trump and we need your help. At 78 years old, he showed his incredible resilience and dedication to this country after the chaos. He's right back into the fight. With some things that you can sniff and consume and put in your body, hint, hint, and also arms to destroy America. Listen. I say it's come from. Yeah, the idea that they're waging this against us comes from a book, actually, that, that Chinese military officers wrote in 2010 called Disintegration Warfare. So it came from China. Right? Yeah, exactly. So the idea that China's waging war against the United States actually came from the Chinese themselves. That's right. And this is actually... Chinese military personnel. Yeah, Chinese military personnel. And this is kind of an idea that has been part of Chinese strategic thought going back thousands of years. Sun Tzu, who wrote The Art of War, or that's the collection of his writings, sort of this mysterious strategist that a lot of people like to quote online. Uh, he or said, an Instagram profile. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, he wrote um, in The Art of War that the best strategist is the one that defeats his enemy without actually fighting him. That was kind of the premise behind the strategy. And then in the 19... And that's what's happening. America imploding. Here's another interview with Peter... Switzer. I talk about in the book. Part of the Chinese strategy is to sow violence in American streets. China has a history of selling machine guns to radical groups and um, criminal organizations in the United States going back to the 1990s. They do it today in a very clever way with a small device called a Glock switch. It's a small switch that you put on a Glock handgun. It converts a Glock handgun to a fully automatic machine gun. Uh, it's obviously highly illegal in the United States, highly uh, illegal in China, I mean, China can't even own a firearm. And yet the Chinese are openly marketing them and smuggling them into the United States uh, and selling them to criminal gangs in this country. Uh, it's a massive widespread problem. The rate of machine gun fire on American streets has escalated. And Customs and Border Protection first identified this in 2018. Isn't that something? It's deep, y'all. 3000 that said loan repa repayment. The, the, the $200,000 check, which is up on the screen now, coincided timing-wise with a particular business deal, did it not? And of course, loan repayment, we never have any evidence of a, of a loan ever having been made. But, but what about the timing of this check? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. You see money dispersed to Hunter Biden um, involving a Chinese deal, for example, and then the money gets passed around to the family. Uh, the family members aren't performing any services for these Chinese companies. 
Um, so it's absurd to suggest otherwise. Um, and, and look, the bottom line we have got to remember, and I think Republicans have to be reminded of this, America's bribery laws are very, very clear. It does not matter if Joe Biden got a dime. If your family gets paid and you perform policy actions in return for those funds, it is bribery every bit as much as if you get the money. Did you hear that? Are you listening? Here's another one. And we're on end of that after this point. China is rolling fentanyl. There are other issues that Kentucky faces uh, that China is causing. Increased the violence of the streets in Kentucky because of these uh, devices that the Chinese are smuggling into Kentucky that convert handguns into machine guns. So you'd think that he would want to confront the Chinese on this, but he does not. Uh, and the reason is that his family owns a shipping company called Tormost, uh, her, his wife's family. Uh, and they are wholly dependent upon the Chinese. And he knows that if he says something that offends the Chinese, they can destroy the business overnight. And it, He's talking about Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell has a business, so he won't talk about major issues of the day. It's deep, y'all, what we're going through here in America. So, yeah, you can listen to these interviews, Blood Money, or you can buy the book. This is uh, the Mark Levin Show. I checked him out. Fox News, The Drill Down Show, The Drill Down Show, Glenn Beck. You guys might not agree with some of these people. I get it. But look, these are the hosts that put these people on. Then you lose, the, then you use discernment. We are living in the last days. America's going down. And America. Our goose is cooked because we went out and we exploited countries back in the day of which us, Britain, now you got strange bedfellows. Like the old folks say, at some point your sins will find you out. And that's what's happening. It's a shame that a lot of us who had nothing to do with the history, things season and cycle. Arnold Schwarzenegger said it best back in the day, I'm back. We did something back in the day, people. I'm going to point to it again. What I believe the big, the big issue is, it was this here back in the day. If you just pull up a few videos on this, from back in the day, how Britain profited. I believe the Chinese said in the future, I'm going to get y'all back and anybody close to y'all, including America. We are not without sin. The New World Order, they don't, they don't care. They want this thing to implode, so they don't mind that China's coming back. Because at some point, they want the whole world to go after each other, and that implode as well. They play in the middle. The black and white on the chessboard. My name is Trenshot Pearson. If you like this work, if it made you think, please subscribe, hit the bell. So yeah, people, it's true. I hope you enjoyed that. America is going through its opium moment. If you think about what I'm saying, think about the type of drugs which are on our streets, people. Seriously, in all our major cities. Not until uh, the president of China came to San Francisco for a meeting with Joe Biden did they clean it up. I mean, when I said they cleaned it up, look brand new, clean the streets, got rid of the bums, don't even know if the bums are alive. But yeah, between what Britain and America did to China back in the day, when it came down to those D-R-U-G-S, <laughs> guess what? Your sins will find you out. And uh, hey, little brother then rose up. We built them in part through Papa Bush and Papa Clinton. 
send all those factories overseas, all those peculiar um, relationships we created under um, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger and, uh, and, uh, and the International Group of Trail Outer Commission and Council on Foreign Relations, all the business deals. America was slowly, in my humble opinion, sold out. When I say sold out, they mortgaged out the next couple of generations of which we are now trying to limp and stand on with one foot, a peg leg like a pirate on a ship that's leaking. These are the so-called presidents that we thought were in our favor. Even the Jimmy Carters of the world had the people like the Trilateral tri 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 Commission International, the one world is working under his administration, getting rid of our, not just our sovereignty. You got to remember, sovereignty, the way it really goes, if you get rid of the business, sovereignty goes after. I'm going to say it again. When you, de when you deconstruct capitalism, when you deconstruct business, which America is business, when you get rid of that, automatically your sovereignty goes. You go from four pockets to having money in them to three to two, then just one. Before you know it, you broke. You're cutting back on goods and services. You're doing everything you can. You're going up on prices. You're making people work extra. Trying to make it now. We're in a new paradigm, a new different checks and balance, a new different way of capitalism because we sent a lot of stuff that we made overseas. You can't compete with, with slave labor people. You can't, you can't compete with uh, labor uh, that don't have, you know, they don't have unions and the restrictions and constrictions that we have. We got unions, you gotta pay union. You gotta pay union dues, not to, not, not to hate the union, I'm just put in perspective. We got unions over here, we got regulations over here. They don't have all that in China. So they can make items much more cheaper, the same item, than we can. At the same time, we're not make, making as many as we used to in the, in, in the uh, 50s, 60s, and late 70s. Because these presidents and these international uh, thinkers, these globalists, they sent those businesses overseas. So your children and grandchildren of this generation, it's high man help your service job. You can't build a strong economy built on service. And they knew it. So they basically crashed and killed our economy because we're not making as much. Just want you to have perspective. And both parties are at fault because when it comes down to one world, they're both Democrat, Republican, Independent. One thing about the millionaires and billionaires, they, they got one thing in common. They don't care what party is in charge as long as they control the money. You feel me? And that's where we at. But they didn't got a hold of our learning institutions, so a lot of us don't have analytical thinking. They don't want us to think. Because if we ever figure it out, we outnumber them. We could put them out of business tomorrow with our bad hat with that with, with, without having these bad habits. And get people in the in the office that will change the policies. But hey, we we didn't got caught up in a fix. At the same time, it looks like China is moving. They're coming across the border. And hey, you got the guns coming over, got the drugs coming over, and we imploded. At the same time, think about what brought it over here. And think about it. Not just the one worlders and their philosophies. Civilizations decline when the morals decline. I'm French Shai Pierce, I'm going to say it again. Civilizations decline when the morals decline. And our morals are in question. Put salvation on the ballot. Get right, stay right. Lift up the name of the Lord. We can bring it back a little bit and endure until the end. I'm French Shai Pearson. Have a good night.